In today's show, I'm going to teach beginners how to get started programming microcontrollers. I'm going to follow the setup from my book, Programming Picks and Basic, and show you how to get started and get your first project running. The first step is to go to my website, www.elproducts.com, and then under the Books, Basic Books menu is the Programming Picks and Basic page. On that page is a file you can download that includes all the software for the book. The first step is to take that file and extract it, or unzip it, and then place all the files at the root directory on your computer. Now this is designed to run on Windows so you put it right at the C drive. You should now have a folder placed at the root directory. In this case it's picks and basic underscore software. You can open that directory and then you'll see there's a folder project code, there's a PBP demo 6, and there's a PK2 command. These are the files you use to set the system up. If you open the project code folder you'll see the software for each project in the book. The first step is to launch the PBP Demo 6 installation. This will step you through several installation screens. Just let it install at the default locations by clicking the Next button. Microcode Studio will then install next. It will step you through installation screens the same way PBP 6 did. Let it install at its default locations and then you're ready to run it. Now go to the Start menu and launch the Microcode Studio. Microcode Studio is where you actually write the software and then click to compile and program the device. So we need to set up the programmer. So click on the little arrow next to Compile Program button and then select the PickKit2 command line. Now it should automatically find the proper software. But let's verify by going to the View, Compile and Program Options menu. From there, we can see the Microchip Picket 2 is a default programmer. We click on Edit, and we see that the PK2CMD.exe file was indeed the proper file. But in my case, it was located in the wrong spot. So I'm going to say Find Manually, and then select the Picks and Basic underscore Software folder, and use that version instead. Now once I've got that, I want to modify the default command line. The first part is the slash p, and then the pick target de dash device. That tells it which part to use. And then the slash f, hex file name, is the file that, it, that we write. Slash m and slash r are command line options, but we want to add a slash t. This powers our circuit from the programmer. And then a slash h3 so we get a display window showing that everything completed properly. Okay, so now everything should be installed and ready to run. So we can open our first project. I click on the Open button, and now I have to find that project code folder that we installed earlier. So I'll go to the PickBasic underscore software, and there's the project code. And I'll load the first one, the project1 underscore blink. Okay, so we've got the software ready, but now we've got to hook up the hardware. If you follow along in the book, it'll describe how to set this up. But here is a close-up of the circuit built on the breadboard. And then I connect the programmer, making sure the red wire lines up at the arrow on the chip X board. And then I'm ready to plug the programmer into the USB port of my computer. And now finally, we select the device, the 12F683 that's in our circuit. And then we click on the Compile Program button. This will launch the PickBasic compiler and also the programming software. This will program the device and we'll see a program succeeded message pop up. A few seconds later, we'll see the LED flashing on our circuit. So that's it. That's the first project from my book, Programming Picks in Basic. With that, you learned all the basics you need to get started programming microcontrollers. I'm going to do the rest of the projects in my book as a series of videos, so if you like this, tune back in. If you like this video, please check out some of my other videos. And if you like my channel, please let me know by subscribing. Thanks for watching. See you next time.